solving a quadratic equation using the quadratic formula along with one example. The first piece is the quadratic equation in standard form. You have your ax squared term plus your bx term plus your c. When you use the quadratic formula, you're going to use the a, which is your coefficient, your b, which is your coefficient, and then c, which is your constant. You have to make sure that when you use the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation that it must be in standard form first. <clears throat> there are some songs out there to memorize the quadratic formula. This is the quadratic formula here. You're going to get up to two possible answers. The reason is because of this plus or minus. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. <clears throat> this is nice to use when you have a quadratic equation that's not factorable. Important again, make sure it's in standard form before you identify the a, b, and c. Let's go on to our first example here. Here's a quadratic equation in standard form, and we want to solve it using the quadratic formula. So we identify the a, which is 1. We identify the b, which is a positive 5. We identify the c, which is a negative 14. Now we're going to go ahead and plug it into the quadratic formula. So I have listed the quadratic formula here, but on tests and quizzes, we will not give you the quadratic formula. You must know what it is. So we're going to substitute in negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over, make sure it's all over, 2a. And then the rest of the problem is simplify, simplify, simplify. Be careful on your simplifying that you do the correct orders of operations. So I'm going to leave this negative 5 alone, plus or minus, and then underneath the radical, you want to go 5 times 5 is 25, and then negative 4 times positive 1 times negative 14 is a positive 56 over 2 times 1, which is 2. I'm going to go inside the radical again, and I'm going to simplify this. 25 plus 56 is 81. So we have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 81 over 2. If you remember, 81 is a perfect, a perfect square. 81 is 9 times 9, so the square root of 81 is 9. So negative 5 plus or minus 9 over 2. This is what x equals. Now what I do is I just break up the equation into two equations. Negative 5 plus 9 over 2. And then x equals negative 5 minus 9 over 2. And simplify those. Negative 5 plus 9 is 4. Divided by 2 is 2. So there's your first answer. And then come over to the second equation, negative 5 minus 9 is negative 14, divided by 2 is negative 7. These are your two solutions to your quadratic equation. If you wanted to verify your answers, you could substitute 2 and negative 7 back into the original equation to see that those are solutions to that quadratic equation. 